Yo, what's going on, YouTube? Welcome back to another Minnesota Twins game review. Another win in the books for the Minnesota Twins. I think my camera is a little crooked here. There we go. Another win in the books for the Minnesota Twins. A 9-2 win over the Royals tonight. That is good. That is good. That's what we want to see. Uh, the Twins are now 24-16, and and... They are four and a half games up on the White Sox, who lost to the Yankees tonight. So as much as we don't like the Yankees, it's good that we can build that gap in the AL Central because we're playing easy teams right now and we need to beat them. So that is good. That's what we want to see. And a really good game all around tonight. Pitching, hitting. I mean, some defense was in there too. You couldn't go wrong. So let's jump into it. We're going to start with the pitching, of course, uh, because Joe Ryan... He is our ace um, and has really come, you know, a lot. He's come a long way um, since last year. And he's 5-2 and two on the year with 2.28 uh, ERA. And honestly, it was a little bit dangerous in this game. I don't think he had his best stuff, but this is one of the best baseball quotes that I've ever heard um, while playing baseball, growing up in baseball, working in baseball. It is your pitcher will start 33 games a year. 30 games. Let's just say it's 30 games. Five starts. He's going to have lights out stuff. Amazing stuff. Seven starts. Whatever number it is. And likewise, he's going to have that many starts that are just awful. It doesn't get through two innings, three innings, whatever it is. And then every start in the middle, so 20 starts or whatever, are going to be just average. And you're going to have to grind through them. And I would say today, he didn't have his best stuff. He didn't have his worst stuff. But definitely had to grind through it a little bit. And ended up getting the win, but also, uh, you know, just working through it, grinding through it. 5.2 innings, did not get through six, and we'll jump into that inning in a second, but struck out six, walked two, and only gave one run. Um, Field bar did give up a home run, but came in a big situation, got out of it. Joe Smith is amazing out of the bullpen, and Cody Stashek closed it out. If you do want to go look at that inning, though, uh, before we get into the offense, it was the sixth inning, the bottom of the sixth, and uh, first guy hit a double. Ben Attendi hit a double, then got a ground out from Bobby Witt Jr. Dozier walks, Santana walks, and the bases are loaded. They bring in Thielbar, and he gets a fly out to Celestino to end that inning. So again, not the greatest stuff for Ryan, but he gets his fifth win of the season, and that is a good victory on the pitching side of things. Let's go on to the hitting side of things. A good start for the Twins in the third inning. That's when they got on the board first. Urshela drew a walk. Jeffers singled him um, to second base. Got on base, of course, so runners on first and second. And then... The Twins are playing small ball tonight. I don't know how many times. It was three or four times. The Twins bunted, and it worked. Except for one time Polanco tried to bunt and didn't work. But for the most part, it was really effective tonight. And this is interesting. Um, we'll finish this inning in one second. But if you go to the box score, not only are the Twins really good at hitting with like two outs and runners in scoring position again tonight, but they, I guess, can I see it? One, two, three, four sacrifices, two flies, two bunts. So that just tells you small ball wins the game, especially when the Twins have not been hitting a ton of home runs. They hit, you know, a few at target field, but some, for, for whatever reason, in KC, they have not been hitting a lot of home runs here in these last two games. I don't think they have one at all. If I'm t being honest, did they hit one yesterday? Well, I got to look now. Hold on. Jumping around here. It's going to take me two seconds to find. And they did not hit a home run yesterday. So that's what I thought. They're playing small ball. They're winning games. And that is what I like to see. It's more exciting, especially in the last part of this game. It's more exciting. And it creates movement, which can create errors we saw tonight. So it's just better for the team. So let's go back to that inning. The third inning when the Twins got on the board. Uh, Celestino, again, really impressive tonight, uh, bunts them over, Byron hits a sack fly, so already two sacrifices right there being team players, Arise hits a single, and the Twins are up 2 nothing. they give um, a run back, but they get two more in the sixth, where Arise draws a walk, he had a really good night at the plate, Kepler singles him home, and uh, Gary Sanchez hits a double, 
He has hit 13 doubles this season. Only two players in the major leagues have hit more. They're both on Boston. Uh, J.D. Martinez and Devers. I don't know how many they have, but... I looked at this tweet. Aaron Gleeman, uh, if you don't know, is a Twins writer for The Athletic uh, and tweets a lot about the Twins. <laughs> he is a stat guy through and through, which I really like because I get a lot of information from them. But he has hit 13 doubles this season, and he has done it in so, I don't know, what is this, 20 games that he's played? I don't, I don't know what it is. It doesn't say how many games he's played, but it says he has hit last year's total, so 13 doubles, right, in the same amount of time as it took him last year in 117 games. He has completed it, tied his last year total in 88 fewer games. That is crazy. That's like Garver the other year. I think it was like 2019 when he hit 31 home runs in like 90 games or something or something like that where it was crazy it's kind of the same thing and Gary Sanchez is really like this whole team has just really impressed me which is great but he continues to rope it on uh four to one they scored one in the eighth and then in the ninth this is where I already talked about the the big inning that the twins got out of with field bar but then they just put it on in the ninth Urshela starts out with a double Celestino draws a walk Buxton drew a walk. Arise, another single, makes it 6-2. Correa hit a double that was about this close to going out um, right at the base of the wall. And that was his seventh double of the year. A lot of doubles this year, which is great. Um, maybe they know that you can't hit home runs until the humidity goes up or something like that. I don't know. But 8-2, and then Polanco got a sack fly to make it 9-2, and that's the final score. So let's go to the box score, talk about the hitters in general. Buxton over 3 tonight, batting under 230. That's not good. He's being a team player, right? He's drawing walks. He's getting RBIs, sack flies, whatever. And that's okay. He's still got an OPS of 917, which blows my mind. But that is not good. And he doesn't look hurt. So I don't know if he's just trying too hard. I made this comparison the other night to Royce Lewis, where Royce Lewis has a very flat bat and he gets a lot of doubles, you know, squaring up the ball, whereas Buxton may be trying to elevate it a little bit too much, and it just looks like he's not making good contact. Maybe he's just being a little too aggressive at the plate and needs to draw more walks. I'm not sure. Let me know what your thoughts are. Um, but yeah, just not, not the Buxton I think we thought we would see after that first stretch of however many games. Arise, two for three though, two RBIs, two walks. He has really impressed me in this game specifically, um, I told you he could be a batting champion. I really believe that. And uh, he he's batting 324. Like, that's really good. With an OPS of 833, 32, that's really good for a guy like Arise. He only hits singles. That's really good. Um, Correa, 2 for 5. I saw another tweet by Gleeman. He's like 5 for 17, and the Twins are 3-0 and uh, since he's been back. I am not against Correa. My tweets maybe seem like I'm against Correa. I'm not against Correa. I just think it's ridiculous that you send Royce Lewis down, especially when you're having him play these other positions. He's not learning anything by playing second base one night, third base the other night, left field the other night. That's not consistent. He can do that in the major leagues. I think it's so stupid. I think they're controlling him wrongly. And that really is just frustrating to see because he's getting experience in the minor leagues. But he can do this in the major leagues, too. I just don't like it. I don't like it at all. Not the point, though. Correa has been doing good. Got two RBIs tonight. Polanco 0 for 4. Kepler 1 for 4 with an opposite field hit. He did okay. Polanco's kind of struggled this year, to be honest. Um, I don't know what's wrong with him, either. It's just the numbers are all down all over the place. Sanchez, another double. Like I said, 1 for 4 with his RBI. Urshela, 1 for 3. Jeffers, 1 for 3. And Celestino, 1 for 2 with a sack bunt and a walk like I said he's really impressed me he's batting 355 this year with an 839 OPS very very good especially in our eight and nine hole hitter to really give it back to the top of the lineup because that Buxton Arise Correa lineup oof, that's it's good you throw Lewis in there Sanchez has been hot too really you can't go wrong and honestly, if Polanco continues to struggle, you almost put him at second base and it looks even better. So it was a really good night. Like I said, Buxton, um, or not Buxton, sorry, the, just the team in general. Um, with Buxton sack fly, though, uh, 
you know, it's helping out without two outs, and then you get into the two out hitting. Arise, Sanchez, and Kepler all got two out hits tonight. That's big. They were four for nine with runners in scoring position. Maybe not super, super great, but they only left five guys on, and that's really impressive. So, uh, considering, you know, you're holding the Royals to one for six, like, that's good. That's what you need to do. So, a really good game overall. You know, they did what they needed to do. They beat up on a bad team, and they got to keep doing it. So it is Saturday, which means they've taken the series against the Royals. That's what they need to do. I hope they can win tomorrow, get the sweep again against a bad team. They play the Royals and the Tigers 15 straight times. It's like, that's crazy. So they need to win those games, um, and it starts with a series win, of course, but then to also get a sweep tomorrow would be fantastic. So that's all I got for you today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It was a good game. That's all you can say. There was even a wild pitch in there that scored a run. So it was a good game. And uh, that's all you can ask for on a Saturday night, right? To just enjoy it, sit back, and watch some Twins game. Twins baseball. So hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you guys thought. And we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.